Hello folks, welcome to NetSec YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use AA panel to install WordPress. In my previous video, I already show you how to install AA panel, this host control management software into your Oracle Cloud VPS. I already installed a panel and this is the back end. I logged in. As you can see, we can create website. We can add more app into this VPS. I also made some changes on the security entrance. I didn't change the panel port, but I created a new username and password for login. So now let's start to create a new website using this AA panel. First thing, let's create a new website. I'm assuming you already have your own domain name. As I see, this is my domain name. I'm going to add a new record. So the new domain going to be pointing to my this new server's public IP. I'm going to use an add for the root domain. going to create another domain. So we already created two records. I'm going to need a new database for my WordPress. So this is the database settings. So it's automated that generate the database name, username, and the password for your WordPress connection. So next step, we're going to apply SSL certificate. You can choose DNS verification. I'm using Cloudflare, API key, Put the API limit layer. So we're going to create a TXT record in our domain management center. Verification. Local authentication succeeded. One quality verification result. Verification succeeded. Perfect. So we finished to create a website. We finished to apply our SSL certificate and close that. So all prerequisites has been completed. Now we can start to install WordPress. So if you go to WordPress download website, you should be able to find out the list direct link. So we're going to copy link address. And then we can throw this link into here. Let a panel directly download WordPress file and extract 
tula folder. So now we are at the Lafayas menu page and we can uh, go to www and there is a www root folder. Now you can see our new website itproject.eu.org. We can click remote download. Let's uh, paste the WordPress link here. So we need to download to this folder file name. Let's confirm that. It's a 16 megabytes file, so probably two, three seconds, then it should be able to finish. Now we need to unzip it. Do you see this option? If you move your mouse to this folder and just choose unzip, make sure the pass, there's no password, file name, confirm. Now you can see everything has been on zip to the word plus folder. So it's not the folder, not our root folder. So what we can do, we can move everything under this folder to the itprosec.eu.org folder. So let's cut. Let's do paste. Double check. There's no file on the WordPress folder. Go back. Now we should be able to access in our indexed PHP file. So that is our typical WordPress installation page. That means all files has been successively unzipped to the right folder. We can use our domain directly to accessing the new WordPress file. Let's go. So in previous step, when we creating website, we also creating a database. We have a database name, we have username and the password. So I already saved in my text file. So we can just copy it in. Submit. All right. That means uh, all settings, database settings are correct. They are communicate with the database. We can run the installation. So let's put them. Um, install WordPress. Oh, I have to provide an email address. So click install WordPress. Now we are good to go. So we can use uh, username password we just created to log in. Perfect. We are in the back end of the WordPress. Also, we can access our WordPress website using a new domain, which is created by AA panel. It's pretty simple, straightforward, easy to use. Strongly recommend you to try AA panel. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave a message to me. I will try my best to reply back. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you for watching.